Okay guys, so we got our Katsu armbands on. Bam! We got our Katsu Cycle 2.0. Bam! Hooked to our belt. We are ready to go here. Let's do an awesome jump rope workout program. Okay guys, so up first we've got our armbands. We're going to go ahead and throw those armbands on. We're going to connect them to the Cycle 2.0. So real quick, take your cycle out of the case. Put the case to the side. We are going to connect the air tubes to the cycle just like that. Nice and easy. Just wiggle them in there, just like that. Then you take the katsu, clip it on your belt, put it in your pocket, clip it on your shirt, somewhere nice and secure. Clip's pretty good, so it's pretty tight. Okay, then we got our bands. We got my left band here, I got my right band there. So take the left band, connect it, just like so. Make sure the tube's pointing down, you don't want it to kink. I'm going to keep that loop kind of in that little eyelet there as I slide it up to my arm, pull it down, tighten it down, cool. So we got the left one on, now where's that right one? So take the right band, stick it on there too, pop. Band's pointing down, take the band, keep it in a nice little loop, pinch it, slide it all the way up, wiggle your arm around, pull it down nice and tight. Okay, good, the right one's good. Let me go back here. Left one's good. Feeling good. Got my katsu. All right, let's do this. We're gonna do a full body jump rope program without a jump rope. Here we go. I don't have a jump rope, but I do have a katsu. Let's turn it on. Beep. Katsu, cycle. Let's do, uh, we're doing the arms. This is just a warm up. Remember, we're gonna do pro, low, okay? So as the bands are filling up, I'm going to start doing some jump roping, okay? So make sure that the katsu cycle somewhere secured to your belt, to a necklace in your pocket. And so for the first cycle, let me get my watch going here. All I want to do is just start with light bouncing on my toes. So you can keep your toes on the ground if you want. And all I'm doing really is just kind of pumping my calves. So I'm really not locking my legs or my hips out, but I'm just starting to kind of bounce on my calves, okay? I'm doing basically just heel raises. Start my watch, keep track of things. Okay, so now we're on cycle two. Cycle two, I'm gonna start to get a little bit more side to side motion. So left, left, middle, right, right. Middle, left, left. So you're shifting your weight side to side and you're getting about one or two hops, primarily on one side, okay? And again, you can kind of mix it up, but instead of just going vertical, I'm getting a little lateral movement in there too. So I'm starting to work the inside and outside edges of my feet. My armbands are swelled up, they're working, my legs are working, and I already feel my heart rate speeding up. <sighs> okay, so we are on cycle three for the arms. I'm gonna pin these out of the way so they don't get in the middle. And if you have a jump rope, you can use a jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you can act like you have a jump rope. Again, coordination and jumping rope come with time and practice. And sometimes you just want the workout, you don't really want the coordination of jumping rope. So what I'll do is I'll pretend to jump rope. So now I get my shoulders going. Got my arms working, side to side, lateral movement. Where are we at here? Well, we're flying through, we're already on cycle four. All right, good. So again, back to the shift, 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 shift. Okay, we're gradually working up. Now I want you to let your toes turn. So toes stay parallel, and you're just turning those hips a little bit. Okay, it's so little hip swivels. Swivel, swivel, swivel. So we're going vertical, but we're just swiveling those hips. So every time you land, toes, point, toes, point. Okay, remember, this is just a warm up. Back to a double taps. Tap, 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 tap. Now, putting a little bit more force through each leg, okay? First, round was just kind of light. Now I'm really trying to punch the ground 
with my toes. So speed, reaction, timing, that's all dependent on how much force you can put through the ground and drive through the ground with each step. So just trying to loosen those legs up a little bit, loosen your arms up, you can throw them out, get ready, put your hands up, getting into a fight. All right, how are we doing? We're ramping up number six. We're doing great. So keep on going. Remember, the cycle is about four minutes, a little bit more, depending on the pressure level and how much is going up in those bands. Okay, so now back to the shift. Ta, 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 ta. Now I'm getting a little bit more push off each step. So land, pop, land, pop, land, pop, land, pop, land, pop, pop. Oh. Okay, my legs are again a little tired. Remember, when you're jumping rope, you always want to go knees up, toes up, okay? So as you push down on the ground, when you pop up in the air, you're really trying to want to lift your toes up. You want to dorsiflex that ankle so that when that foot lands, your Achilles is stretched. We're going to fire back off that stretch shortening cycle. Plyometrics. Land, stretch, pop, stretch, pop. So, these are double leg, double tap, 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 tap. Okay, so you can mix in a few of those. This is kind of like the rest period, right? So just weight shifting side to side, hopping in place. That's like our rest, okay? Try to keep moving. Your arms are working out with the cycle. Your legs are working out with the jump rope. In. And then you're just moving around. A little side step. Shuffle, 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 off the left, shuffle, 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 off the right. You can shift them around. This is just the arms. We're doing leg sex, guys. Stick with me here. Pop, 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 pop. All right. All right. Nice and soft knees. If your knees are starting to ache, try to get a little more ankle, less knee. But as you get a little bit more warmed up. Really let those knees start to loosen up. Was that it? Cool. So that was the end of the arm cycle. Switch. 